Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys. This is the second video in my statin memory test. I've been on the statin since Monday. Today's Friday. I feel like my mind is turning to mush, but will the test that I'm going to take today bear that out? Epic Review Guys. In case you missed the first video, I'll put a link to it down below. Basically, what I'm trying out here is to show that statins in some people really does a number on their short-term memory. I had that happen to me when I was on statins a year ago. I fortunately don't have to be on them anymore, but I'm upset that doctors and the drug companies poo-poo the idea that statins can affect your cognitive ability, so I've decided to actually take a series of memory tests to try to show some real data that whether or not this has the effect. Now, on Monday, I took the test, my baseline, wasn't so great, but um, that's how my memory was before I was on statins. Um, on Monday, I took 20, and then 30, and then 40, 40, 40. So that's how many milligrams of statins I've taken up through now. And I have the weekend still to go through on Monday, and then I'll take the test one more time when I'm at the maximum saturation of statins in my system. But I've been feeling already foggy that foggy, hazy feeling, which came back to me um, that that is really how I felt when I was on the statins before, just like being in a haze all the time. So, on to the testing. I will do the same tests in the same order. I've decided rather than using the papers I used before, just in case they put the numbers in the same order, I'm going to use fresh pieces of paper to jot down my answers. Let's start with the University of Washington short-term memory test. This will show me letters on the screen. I have to remember them and write them down. This is the same order as last time. I remember that. If anything, though, I should get a better score because of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe I remember this. A, B, C, mmm, A, B, C, Y, I, S, a, V, C, Y, I, S, C, H. Oh. That went by too fast. That was a quick three seconds. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything longer than that. <clears throat> I will try. LBF, QRP, MAUX. LBF, QRP, MAUX. L, B, F, Q. Did I say B or P? Q, R, P Maux. Now I do remember last time I got an F instead of an X and missed that. No way. <laughs> ZQE CTB. Mm. Z. What? Oh, I can't believe the whole thing just blanked. Okay, so this was good for two. This was good. T Z L D good for four. K X. C E J O, all right. A B C Y I S E H. I did just as well as last time. Now let's see here. L B F Q R P Maux. And I missed one last time and I got that. Hardly anything at all. I know I did worse on that one. The rest of these though I did just as well. So so far I'm not seeing any memory impairment. On Brangle.com, I'm going to try out the numbers test, just because maybe numbers and letters work a little differently with memory. Okay, so I have to write them down in that amount of time. Let's see, let's see if you remember that. Okay, now obviously I don't write them down while it's on the screen. Okay, lack of basic intelligence, 042, oh, and I've got to enter it here. Okay, here we get the telephone number length, okay. We gotta work on this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think. One Yes. Okay. I think I'm doing better than last time. Uh oh. It's improving my memory. Okay. Oh oh. Five thirteen. 
and it was like 8.32, maybe? 13.038, confident on that. Guessing on that. Whoa! Statins improve your memory. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. So we'll stop at that, and amazingly, I seem to have gotten 10 right. I think if I just, okay, here's today's score. Wow, I was 8.2 last time, 10. Now for the phone app, back to letters. And I think I have to do it on here. Let's try the full test again. I remember going through this. Go back. Oh. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. I remembered it until I had to do that. It was show, but I can't believe it was spelt this way. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Taking my m mind off of it for just a moment cost me. I'm a B. I think I was a B last week. 540 out of a possible 750. Hmm. I'm comparing the test results from Monday here, today here, the University of Washington short-term memory test. I actually did a fair bit better today on the Brangle number menu test. Last week they gave me an average score of 8.2. This week they gave me a score of 10. And on the um, short-term memory test app, um, last week was kind of a mess because I kept on um, going and writing the numbers down and it, it never en ended up finishing. But um, I remember when I went and did the short version of the test, they gave me a B. My memory was rated, short term memory was B and rated B again this week. At this point, I seem to be doing a good job of disproving what I set out to prove. And sometimes that happens. And if that's what the numbers end up showing, then that's what they end up showing. There'll still be one more test, a few more days at the full 40 milligrams a day. We'll see what that does. Honestly, though, I'm feeling the effect already. So the fact that the short-term memory test, if anything, I'm doing better on it, that must not be where the impairment comes in. The one time where I felt it, which is what I remember feeling being on statins, was um, when I got distracted for just a moment, um, trying to figure out how to go back and re-enter. And all, everything I had, because I had the rest of it there to put in, but it just got wiped out completely by that slight distraction. That's a pretty good description of how I felt when I was on statins. Because I remember I had to repeat stuff to myself over and over. If I'd be in a room and need to go to the other room to do something, I would just say it to myself over and over as I walked so that I would remember when I got there. But as I mentioned in last week's video, if I were distracted by something along the way, the kids left something on and I would go over and turn it off. And just for that moment, I took my focus off of whatever it was I was trying to remember it was gone completely. So maybe it's not short-term memory, at least in my case, that's affected, but I'm not quite sure what it is that's being affected. In any case, I will stay on the statins till Monday, do the last test. I'll probably get great scores then. But if that does prove to be the case, then I'll have to figure out what it is mentally that's being affected because something definitely is. Thanks for following along with me on this experiment. We'll find out in a few days where it's going to lead. You can keep checking back for that video or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.